Well, winter is over, so it's time to get your cleaning supplies out of hibernation. Whether you call it a vacuum or a sweeper, I call it vacuum now, but back in the day I call it a sweeper. It is time to dust off that dust buster. And if you don't know where to get started, don't fret because Vicki Norris is here to save the day. Yay! Take a look. Do you live by the motto, out of sight, out of mind? Is the clutter closing in on you? Well, Vicki Norris can help you dig out of your disorder so you can focus more on your calling and less on your clutter. She's the founder and president of Restoring Order, a professional organizing business. She shared her passion for order and organization in various magazines and on numerous television shows. And now she's here to share her knowledge with us. Vicki has agreed to help Zsa, Zsa a 700 Club producer, dig out of her disorganized cubicle and restore order to her work environment. Wait a second. <laughs> Expiration date. Oh dear. February 28th, 09. That goes. 09. Okay. That's my problem. Just keep things around too long. Well, but you're busy. And so a lot of times people, if they've never done what we call a total burn down, which is what we're going to do today. Burn down? Don't worry, it won't involve matches. It means that we get to everything. Mm -hmm. We literally clear out the spaces so you know exactly what's there. And then we just purpose your space so it's simple and easy. And then when you do come to a time where you have a few minutes and mm -hmm. you can prune, you can make it more of an ongoing thing than wait for that, you know, moment that never comes yeah. where you do the big, the big clear out. If I need to know where something is, it's on the wall. Okay, so that shows, number one, you don't have enough workspace, and I know that. Or I have too much work. Uh, you could have both. <laughs> you probably have both. I know that because of this coffee table here, too, this little you know, TV tray that you set up. People do this. When they run out of space, they go to the walls, yeah. they go vertical, yeah. they set up little things, but then it makes it kind of difficult to navigate. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, so, I do. Okay, so that's the surface space and workspace is one issue that we need to resolve. So it'll be a very controlled process, and we're gonna leave your paper till last, because really if we can do the chunky stuff first, like the suitcase and the coffee table and stuff, <laughs> just it'll, get, it'll get rid easier. of it. <laughs> All right, thank you. Okay. I gotta tell you, this is gonna be so much fun. But before we even start, I have to say our producer, Zsa, Zsa she's phenomenal. And yes, her, her cubicle might look a little bit chunky or cluttered, but you know, she works so hard that she's gotta put the stuff somewhere. Anyway, well, Vicki Norris has been working throughout yesterday and this morning trying to sift through Zsa Zsa's, you know, kind of a mess. Well, Vicki, here's the question for you, girl. What's the first step that people need to take before starting on such a massive task? And, you know, what kind of progress have you guys had so far? Well, you know, the first thing that people need to do, Christy, is that they need to set aside enough time because this project is a big undertaking. We're talking usually a workspace takes about 24 hours. In this case, we had about 16 man hours or woman hours into this project between me and Zsa, Zsa and we hit it hard yesterday. We worked a long time and setting up systems. And as you can see, we had so much to deal with. There is a lot of layers. The surfaces were covered. Uh, Zsa, Zsa even called this her personal fridge. So she had her walls covered and her surfaces covered. You can see there a minute ago, uh, box Boxes covered with Afghans. I mean, she was trying to create more workspace. And so that was a major project for us is to deal with how crowded it was. So one of the first things I wanted to do was I wanted to create more workspace for her. I wanted to open up the space. And so we did redesign her cubicle, which you're going to get to see later in the show. And we had to um, observe a process that's so key. Good organizing begins with an organic discovery process. And so we sat and we chatted and we interviewed uh, Zsa, Zsa and really began to understand what was in her space, how was she using it, uh, what, were, what was broken and how do we fix it? Then we had a whole process where we sorted everything with boxes. We wanted to get everything out of the space. You have to completely do a total burn down to get to a baseline. We dealt with all the stuff and now today we're going to deal with paper. On the show we're going to actually show you how to set up good paper management systems using Jaja's cubicle here. We're going to have a fun time. Back to you, Christy. Thank you so much, Vicki. Well, girl, You've been working we have. and working hard. <laughs>
<laughs> Listen, we're going to be checking back with Vicky throughout the show, so you definitely don't want to miss that. I can't wait. Listen, we've been doing a little spring cleaning here on the 700 Club. It's not my office because it's spotless, but it's a person by the name of Zsa Zsa, who's our producer. Well, listen, because it's such a jaunting task, what are we talking about? Cleaning. We've solicited the help of Vicki Norris. She's been upstairs cleaning out the cube of one of our producers, and I said her name before, Zsa Zsa. And uh, here's my question to you, Vicki. How's it going? Well, Christy, it has been going awesome. But first, I have to say, we have been organizing, not cleaning. Cleaning is for the cleaning people. Organizing is about systematizing. And that's what we've been doing. And I cannot wait to show you what we've been working on with the paper systems. What we have established is we've cleared off her desk, okay? Now, you'll recall that we had a big monitor here above the laptop, and it's gone now. And we've also established projects. That's one of the key P's that we have established. Now, projects are your short-term parking. These are the things that you're going to be working on that have a shelf life. So these are different segments, her expense reports, her big sex trafficking segment that's coming up next week. And so what we did is we just went through all of her papers, and that's what we do is we literally organically go through everything on the desktop, and we found out what had a shelf life. That's a project. Then there's paper that is hot. It's quick turnover. That's what we call processing. So I established here a processing center for Zsa You can see it's a tray system with to do, to enter, to, rev to scan, and to review. So there are verbs and it's quick turnover. That's an important tip when you want to organize your hot turnover paper. Then she had some stuff that was bulky. So we set up a matching basket for her for items that she needed to send or return. And finally, she works on the telethons, and she had some chunky things like tapes that needed to go into file folders, so a simple manila folder would not do. So we set up a spring, a fall, and a January telethon folder for her. So we've actually established systems for all the types of paper management needs that Zsa Zsa had. And I can't wait, Christy, to show you the final reveal and all the other exciting things that we did with stuff and paper. Good deal, Vicki. I have to tell you, I'm so impressed. I really am already. Well, listen, thanks for helping out, Vicki, but uh, it looks like right, there is... Are not do anything with the doll collection? The doll collection? <laughs> or the, the boas. Barbies. What, what about the boas? Listen, that's part of the whole process. You've got to keep what works the, for you. Of the cube. you got to keep it. Ja loves boas, and she has them in the dolls. She What's loves those, too. I, God bless her. She can keep the dolls. I think they're one. They're the boas. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they're the, the dolls. dolls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to see. We're, we're, we're still going to follow the whole process. And because there still needs work to be done, and now the you know countdown clock is on, and I think what's going to make this even really fun is to see if when we come to the end of the show, if the dolls and the boas are still there. Well, listen, there's going to be a big reveal in just a few minutes. Don't you love the music? Okay, so listen, for the last hour, Vicki Norris has been working feverishly, and we do say feverishly, because I mean, literally, it's been a live television show today, to uh, clean up Zsa Zsa's cube, and girl, I have to tell you, I'm just about to faint home, Miss Sister. Thank you! <laughs> You're welcome here anytime. I know, it looks so great. Okay, let's just rock this stuff. Let's talk about the before and after. Can we show the before and after first? There we go. There's the before, Vicki. Mm -hmm. Right? Can you yeah. describe a little bit of what we're oh, seeing? Yeah, well, we just had a tired old couch and we had a TV tray and lots of decor and it was crowded and the surfaces were covered. Shasha is one busy woman. Man, she's working on seven things at a time. And so a lot of times there was some, some stashing that went on and, and, and we had a lot of things in a lot of different places. But this is a talented woman and yeah. we needed to release her talent. Exactly. Okay, and now, dun 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 dun, dun here is the after. <laughs> That's right. That's, That's right. my theme song. So, Ja, how are you feeling about this whole thing? Oh. This is the after. I was overwhelmed by this. Yeah. I gotta be honest with you, Christy. Mm -hmm. At first, I was resilient. I'm like, I'm not doing this. I can do it, but I don't want to, right, you know? Right. Because I was really used to what I was working in, mm, you know? It was comfortable. It, it may have looked like chaos, yeah. but it was controlled, organized chaos to me. Mm. And so I could find everything. But what I realized is, now when I come in here, it's like, 
taking a deep breath. Yeah. Just because you're used to something doesn't mean it's right. Mm. And I need a change. And you know, sometimes we can be resistant to change, but I am so glad mm. that Vicki helped me out here. I love that. That's a great point. And you say something, hold on, I gotta make sure I have the question right. There's a difference between organizing and restoring order. Mm -hmm. What is that difference? You know, in organizing, people throw bins and baskets at their problem, they do tips and tricks, but you saw we had a lengthy interview process. Yeah. We actually had a couple of interviews. I really wanted to make this serve her. I didn't want to steal her Barbies and her Boas. I, I did not want to take <laughs> Creative people are worried about this, right? They are so worried that it's going to strip down the personality, mm. and it doesn't. Yeah. Good organizing yeah. is about pulling out the treasure in her and releasing it to the world. I love that. And can we just take note, the Boas. That's right. And the Barbies yeah. are still there. That's ja, right. Ja, <laughs> ja, ja. Woo. We love that. It has come a long way. We opened up a lot of floor space, as you can yeah. see. We also, all the things that she had, like her hospitality oh. items, okay. are still here. We have office supplies now mm -hmm. in one place rather than all over. We have music. I love that. And we have um, a place for handbags. We have a place for files now, computer things. Everything has a home. But more importantly, now I feel like we've released her potential. You know, Jesus wants a return on talent and this mm -hmm. is talent here so this is about empowering her to live in her space love her space and be even more creative I love this speaking of creative that's true Jaja you are one of the most creative producers we mm -hmm. have at CBN but you're also a creative person okay. so I love the fact that you do you've got red and purple yeah. and color mm -hmm. and even with the folders I yes, love yeah. how you didn't just do normal manila you no, have flowers, right? We can't, we can't have that. And we right? also, we made over her couch as well, I have to say. This is an important thing yeah. to her. She yeah. she loves hospitality. That's why she has all of her teacups and things in here. And she has, you know, she wants to invite people into her space. Exactly. Fantastic. Last thing, I think we have 10 seconds left. Oh, we don't. All right, Vicki, thanks for being with us. For more great organization tips, check out her CDs, plural. They are called Restoring Order, Paper Management, and Ordering Your Life Disorder to Destiny. You can find out more about going to cbn.com ladies thank you so much jaja you. you rock i love it and meanwhile <laughs> can i say to you we leave you with these special words from psalm 124 8 our help is in the name of the lord who made heaven and who made earth thank you so much for joining us and god bless